Hello everyone, I'm Ivan Manzano from Spain and this is a tutorial for the course Introduction to Music Production from Coursera.org and uh, for this week uh, I've chosen this topic so let's go so reverb is a time processor inside the delay effect category and is important because it gives us the sense of space you must know the wetter a signal is, the farther away it seems in the mix, and the drier the closer to the listener. Okay, and uh, these two two plugins are from Logic Pro. Um, we have uh, two types of reverbs. Algorithmic reverbs are kind of like synthesizers in that we're creating the impression of a space with an algorithm of some sort of mathematical representation offers many more opportunities to manipulate the sound of a space. And a convolution reverb is like a sampler and that we've recorded the sound of a real space and we're applying that in the in the DAW is a recording of a space, so sounds more like a real space. An algorithmic reverb uh, usually divide um, it, it divided uh, into two separate components, the early reflections and the diffuse reverb. Uh, the early reflections are a set of a sort of delays and if we set this so that we're only hearing the early reverb it. So I have a track here um, routed to, to the reverb uh, with an amount of signal. Um, let's go, how can I, I manipulate the sound? Okay, so this is just the early reflections. If I bypass the plugin, we hear uh, a mix. If I hear the reverb, we're hearing just the early reflections. I switch over to the diffuse portion of the reverb. So a typical algorithmic reverb uh, would consider the, uh, those two portions of the sound separate and will give you different controls for the early reflections and the diffuse portion of the reverb. Let's look at the parameters you'll see on the early reflections typically. You'll often have a pre-delay, which delays the entire start of the reverb a little bit. Then uh, we often have some, some ways of, uh, to manipulate the algorithm of the space. Uh, so we're going to change the location of all those early reflections. Uh, now uh, these parameters will often be called um, room size or room set. Uh, we'll will also have um, will often have uh, stereo controls. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go to the diffuse and repair portion of that algorithmic repair. The most important thing you're going to find here is going to be the reverb time. Uh, this is going to be controlling uh, kind of the size of the space you are in and usually you want to keep it below two seconds. Okay, um, now I do want uh, to try out a convolution reverb as well and see what can, what can we do with that. With a convolution reverb, uh, most of what you do is choosing uh, an impulse response. An impulse response is a recording of a real space that we're applying with this mathematical procedure called convolution. And in most convolution plugins, you'll find a wide variety of audio files that are representing a large number of real spaces. So, largely, uh, what you do is choose a space and see if you like it. Now, uh, I'm going to choose a, a space for my track and let's hear it. Sample. Uh, for example, uh, medium space, a uh, hall, um, medium hall, medium hall. Okay, let's hear it. Sounds not bad. Okay, summarizing, uh, you have two types of reverbs, uh, uh, which are 
algorithmic reverbs are a kind of like synthesizers in that we are creating the impression of a space with an uh, algorithm of some sort uh, mathematical, uh, mathematical representation and offers many more opportunities to manipulate the sound of the space. And uh, we also have uh, the convolution reverb and um, which is like a sampler and um, that we've recorded the sound of a uh, real space and we're applying that in in our DAW uh, is a real recording of space so thanks for watching sorry about the time and see you soon bye